If you've been watching my YouTube videos since at least early 2019, then you may remember back when there was a date and time bomb right corner of them doing me recording on this camcorder. However, why did I use this camcorder? Let's get into it. Some of you may know that I briefly read Berenstein Bears books in my first YouTube videos back in July and August 2016 before departing YouTube for two and a half years. I returned in December 2018, but with the focus of technology that I've retained ever since then. However, at the time, the best camera I had was either my first generation iPad Air, right here, or my iPad Mini 2, neither of which have good cameras. So because my grandmother knew that I was interested in making YouTube videos again, she got me this camcorder on Amazon. On the face of it, it seems like a pretty good camcorder as it has 24 megapixels and it can record 1080p. However, does this look like a good 1080p camera to you? In fact, it looks more like 480p to me, even though this is officially a 1080p video, or at least it comes up with that when I inspect the properties of videos recorded on this camcorder. For contrast, here's a real 1080p video recorded on the iPad Mini 2. Oh, this camcorder is clearly lying about its capabilities. Once I realized how comparable this camcorder's video quality is to a potato, I began recording videos on what was then my mother's iPhone 8 Plus, which I continued to record most of my videos on until December 2021, because this became my phone then after that I upgraded. This camcorder is a prime example of a common scam of fake camcorders. Fake camcorders like this one that have either used, used bogus brand names or else imitated reputable brands like Sony and Canon have existed since the 1990s, like for example this AI Techni one, which is clearly a bogus cheap Chinese brand name, but was definitely ahead of the curve under the name. <laughs> and searching for camcorders on Amazon reveals lots of camcorders like this one that advertised bogus capabilities to the ideas of victims not knowing any better. In fact, I didn't even know this was a fake camcorder until I watched V Westlife video about fake camcorders recently, and I'm a tech enthusiast, mind you. However, what if you want a dedicated camera but don't want to fall for a suspicious camera? My best advice is to avoid sites like eBay or Amazon, shop on more reputable websites or stores like Best Buy or on companies' websites like Sony, Canon, Nikon, and etc. But do you have a fake camcorder? Please comment that down below. As always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes Fanboy, and peace out.